screen template. So if you go to choose, there's already a pre-made template right over here. Mm -hmm. But like, uh, you know, the difference between the output template and versus the screen template, what we do for the output template, we duplicate, right? Mm -hmm. But ideally for the screen template, you just always wanted to make a new one. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it doesn't make sense for you to duplicate this and then for you to keep on changing the font mm -hmm. when it's faster if you would just make a new one, mm -hmm. right? So normally what you're going to do is new and then the script uh let's just do test and then hit okay so right now first uh what we need to put like for the background what format um, it's the same as the uh, okay awesome so um if we're going to do the wedding so pretty much we can use the same um template that we use because normally whenever you're go you're doing an event you just wanted to match the output template your screen template oh, yeah. right so it would match the theme of so, your um so have an idea how in the end it's gonna look like exactly okay. so what you're going to do is same idea add artwork browse and then um we go this one and fill and fit entire page so now what we're going to add is so the first thing that you need to add is the preview photo mm -hmm. so what is the preview photo so the preview photo is the one that you know after each photo they will be able to see, see themselves mm -hmm. right so what you're going to do instead of adding single photo if you add a single photo what you have to do is this like you know it would like you know be in the entire page and you have to enlarge it right like you know resize it so instead of doing Ooh. that like you know saving your time you just wanted to use the multiple photo for your preview okay and then we're just going to change the rows into uh three and then the column into one because remember we have three photos mm -hmm. per session so we're just going to put it on the side mm -hmm. So now we have our preview for uh preview photos. So next items that you wanted to add would be the live view. Mm -hmm. Remember what is the live view? So we can see themselves after the photo. Exactly. So, so like they will be able to prefer uh prepare themselves mm -hmm. like you know before they take their first photo. So what we're going to do is add live view. Add live view is right over here oh, on the right high right. uh corner mm -hmm. and then hit okay. So we're going to add it right over here. And then definitely, like you can still do the overlay. How to do the overlay? What do what for? Uh, what do P we need? PNG. Okay, so technically, the um output and screen template has the same format as far as like overlay and background is concerned. The only difference is that the screen some uh, screen template has those both command. Oh yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the output is just like something that you just print. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now what we're going to do is add the artwork, browse, and then we're going to look for uh. Oh, not this one. We're going to add a ring and then hit open. Okay. So here. Mm -hmm. So right over here. So we can just like uh, put it um, on the side if you want. Like okay. in here. Oh, so cute. So or we can, <laughs> <laughs> we can enlarge it a little bit. So like, you know, even though it overlay in there, it really would not affect because that is just the live view, right? Yeah. So now we're going to add the text and then same format, right? Yes. And then um, can you please type right. it in? For my future to be ex husband? Yep. <laughs> Are you ready to file the divorce? <laughs> <laughs> just give me 30 seconds. All right. Have to <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, so now we're going to hit OK. Um, this is that one, right? Yeah, yeah. And then. We're just going to rotate. Clockwise. Oh. Um, so, uh, clockwise, you, the clock goes this way. Counter yeah. goes the other way. Rotate. So, rotate, clockwise, there you go. Mm -hmm. So, now we can have it in there. Mm -hmm. And then we can just like technically duplicate. have the same idea, duplicate. Mm -hmm. And then just the change the color. Yep. And then just make it white. You know, there's so much, uh, there's many uh, technique, like, you know, to do or to be creative. So, but like, that's one way, you mm -hmm. see? Now, like, you're adding more, like, you know, value or like, you're adding more life exactly. to your design. Mm -hmm. And then normally when you're making the template, you want everything to like complement each other. The moment you look at it, like, you know, no element is over uh, powering, like, you know, and also no color should be overpowering, uh, like, you know, everything has to go in accordance with yeah. everything, mm -hmm. right? So, right now, like, we have everything, 
But um, remember for the text, what do we need to add for the... We are missing two commands in here. Remember, like this is... The touch screen so you could go back and right. escape, so, in other words. Right. So basically, this is the specified booth command. Remember, mm -hmm. I was talking about controls is the mm -hmm. generic booth command. And then the screen where you can put the specified booth yeah. command. And then you can control where you can um, touch the screen so that you will be, you will be able to execute yeah. mm -hmm. that specific command that you want. Yeah. So basically, what you're going to do is add shape. So once you add the shape, we're going to go to advance. Okay. And shape and then shape. advance. And then advance. Mm -hmm. And then under advance, you go to booth command. Okay, booth command. Okay. Yes. And then you go all the way to the bottom, and then you would be able to see the exit command. Okay. Exit command. All right. So now we're going to hit OK and then hit OK. So right now, let me just. Uh, put it back to its uh, okay there you go so right now so that is like a booth command right in there so like we're just going to save okay. and then choose how we change how we're going to do the opacity and then go ahead can you please touch in okay. that area <laughs> all right so now so that is that and then no of course we don't want them to see yeah. that there's that exit okay, button yeah, in yeah. there so what we need to change is the opacity so what is the opacity opacity has something to do with the visibility or transparency mm -hmm. of the object so like if we want this to be um, not visible to our clientele we're just going to put zero and then hit OK then now you have an exit button in there that only you and your attendant okay, okay. knows you know that you don't uh, you know, they don't have any idea that yeah. there's this specific command in there all right Mar uh, mark can we do reprint as i've said as far as the rep uh, reprinting is concerned you wanted to accommodate it but you don't want to keep on offering it because yeah. that is wasting your print yeah. so but it's the same idea that is a specified uh, or that is a booth command and what you're going to do is add shape under the advanced setting go to booth command and then you're going to add the reprint menu so there's three print copies reprint last and reprint menu so i would just normally recommend just the reprint menu because like reprint menu is like the all-in-one of the print copies okay. and then the last okay. and then you will be able to control the numbers of the prints that you guys need to do All right. okay so we're just going to do the reprint menu and then of course are we going to have this visible to them no no because we don't want you don't want it to let them know that like you know you have the ability to like the ability <laughs> to do that so we're just going to hit okay right, right so it's going to be in there so this is your exit and that is your um reprint, reprint. so now save and then start booth and you see there's the um the screen it says the touch screen to start mm -hmm. so that is the default setting so what we need to do is like we need to change it to fit inside the live preview right? yeah so what we need to do is we also uh, need to insert special text right yeah. so what we're going to do is going back to the template edit and then it says add text right mm -hmm. so on the right hand uh, on the right side of the box it says um, insert special text so there are four text that we need to add start text you okay you have start text get okay. ready text get ready mm -hmm. okay countdown countdown okay and then the end text okay. all right so now first is like we're going to add the start text mm -hmm. and we're just going to make it like so the start text okay Question mark like um is it okay uh for the command to overlay each other and the question is yes regardless like you know whatever comes first it doesn't matter because that's already programmed mm -hmm. like you know as soon as you put it in there even though it overlays each other mm -hmm. like it would not affect because like it's already programmed mm -hmm. okay so right in this case like if we want it to the center you're just going to adjust like up to the edge of the live view mm -hmm. so that you'll have it centered so we have the start text add text and then next will be the get ready or the ready text and then hit okay so we're just going to add it here normally like i you know this is just the basic format but of but course it wouldn't be seen it wouldn't be seen until they press start button it's exactly and then ready, ready and then okay, exactly ready. because it's already like you know in sequence okay, okay. so regardless if you overlay uh over, like you know even though it overlay it, it right now uh -huh. yes it would not really affect the command okay, okay? All right. 
and then or it would not stay there okay so um the, the third yes the countdown like we want to the countdown to make uh we want to make the countdown a little bit bigger so like have it here and then the last end one text. would be the end text right so now now we wanted the end text about 18 So that means the format is, uh, or the size is big, right? Uh -huh. So we're just going to, um, to mm -hmm. so start text, I would say, 16. So now mm -hmm. you have the touch screen to start. So when you touch the screen, get ready. Mm -hmm. And then the countdown would be three, two, one. Or really that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're just going to take three photos so in order for you to see the end text. Okay. okay. Oh wow. So now it would say, uh, he made it. Three, two, okay, one. Oh, we need to add the fourth. Mm -hmm. So thank you. It's your wedding. <laughs> so now that is how you create the screen template. Do you guys have any questions? Pretty easy, right? Pretty easy, yeah. Yeah.